If your copy of AudioCypher is crashing, we'll cover some troubleshooting steps in this video to address it. If you're using AirPods or any other kind of Bluetooth headphones, there's a chance you may run into some buffering issues. If this is occurring, please try plugging in some wired headphones to see if that resolves the issue. If not, let's go ahead and dive into the troubleshooting steps. These apply to both Mac and Windows. First, you want to close any DAW that you're using as well as the standalone application if you currently have it open. Next, you'll need to locate the AudioCypher folder in your Documents. It's the same on Windows where you'll find the AudioCypher folder located in your User Documents. If the app is crashing, there's a chance that the JSON file has been corrupted. The first step would be to replace the default JSON file with one of the backups listed in the Backups folder. If this doesn't work, we'll need to try replacing the AudioCypher folder in your Documents. To do this, rename the AudioCypher folder. I'm just going to call this audio cipher and then in parentheses I'll type old so that we know that this is the old one. Next, open the standalone application and this will generate a brand new audio cipher folder. You'll notice that the app is empty, but you can take all the audio and MIDI files from the old audio cipher folder and port them over to the new one. And then if you open a DAW, this should fix the plugin as well. If you really need to rescue your AudioCypher cards from the corrupted JSON file, you'll need to open the new one with a text editor and then manually copy over all the card data. Keep in mind that you'll also need to add your tag data to the JSON object. If you don't have any experience with coding, we recommend rebuilding your MIDI vault using the MIDI and audio files you already have stored on your device.